model steam engine. This is a model of the Willesco brand of toy or model steam engines. Um, there's a bit of a funny story behind how my uh, dad acquired this model over, over a decade ago. Uh, he was in Sweden and saw it in a hardware store that he was in because you know when you're in Sweden you might randomly stop in a hardware store and randomly decide to purchase a model steam engine. He then um, brought it home as hand carry luggage in the airplane and got a few funny looks from uh, the <laughs> TSA or whatever, um, you know, airport security. Uh, but uh, I don't I don't know really what the stance is on model steam engines as hand carry luggage so maybe don't try it uh, but he did was able to bring it home and we get it out um, really only once every couple of years uh, but it's fun to get out to see how it works to use as a lesson um, with the kids about steam power and how um, Steam has been used throughout history to power different kinds of engines and tools. I mean, uh, it seems like more of an archaic form of power nowadays, but steam has played an important role in, Amer uh, in world history and in the industrial age. So it's, it's a really hands-on, awesome way to learn about it, is to um, really just start a fire, get the water boiling, and see how it creates steam and how it powers um, the tools that we have. So this is just a little glimpse. This was We did this as a family activity on a Saturday morning. Uh, so it was very fun to get the whole family gathered around and watching um, how the steam engine works. It only took about 10 minutes for the water to boil, maybe even a bit less. Uh, before we started getting steam power and then uh, we just got to watch it do its thing. So I really hope that you're enjoying um, getting to look at our little model engine uh, and if you, if you and your kids are curious about the history of steam power and steam locomotives engines, I encourage you to research the topic. It's, it's a fascinating part of the world's history. Thank you for watching. Thank you.